Sit back and enjoy the highlights from Stage 2 of the 2022 m Investments PE Plet. The second day of the four-day stage race, which traverses the scenic western and eastern cape of South Africa's east coast, began at the Titsikama Lodge. With clear skies and warm conditions predicted, it was sunscreen and selfie weather on the garden route. There was a small matter of 66 kilometers with 1200 meters of climbing to the Asakai Bosch Hotel to consider Hiver. as it is a highly competitive race, as well as a great break from one's daily hustle and bustle. Once the stage started, those with the racing instincts soon found their groove. Having lost 11 minutes repairing and then nursing a punctured rear wheel on stage one, Harbi Kruya and Matt Kayser had to take the bull by the horns on stage two. They were soon setting a pace that only the general classification leaders Keegan Bontekuning and Alan Gordon could follow with ease. Rogan Smart was in trouble early, forcing his partner Sean Nick Bester to sit up and wait. With the best of performance, the bike shop combination out of contention, the battle for stage honours would be between the Insect Science Pro and Valley Electrical Titan racing teams. And what a clash that would prove to be, sadly denying them the time to take in the fantastic views. For the less competitive riders, there was no need to rush through the beautiful landscapes especially while the route hugged the dramatic Storms River region's cliffs. The wild Indian Ocean far below was in stark contrast to the warm hospitality of the Robohook water point. Though early in the day, it provided the perfect excuse for some to linger to refuel before getting back on the bike. At the sharp end, the leading quartet was certainly not lingering. Bontekoning and Gordon had decided that attack was the best form of defense, upping the tempo. It was a tactic that was effective until it wasn't. The Insect Science Pro team appeared to have burnt one too many matches and suddenly Valley Electrical Titan Racing were able to establish a small gap. Kriya and Kayser worked to extend that advantage, edging away inch by inch from the race leaders. All Bontekuning and Gordon could do was to remain calm, knowing that they had a sizable general classification advantage. Down the road, Bester and Smart were time trialling through the remaining kilometres, stranded in no man's land between the leaders and the chasers. Unaware that ahead, Insect Science are in the same position, now fighting to limit their losses. The smooth gravel roads through the beautiful farmlands were providing the teams not racing for overall results with respite from the rugged tracks before the climbs to come. They had no need to eke out every valuable watt at this stage. That was the quest of Kriya and Kayser. An exchange of bottles on the fly at Waterpoint 2 set them up for an assault on the King of the Mountains hotspot. Behind, Insect Science Pro was still looking strong, though just not as powerful as Valley Electrical Titan Racing. The men in black were hunting their second com title of the race. Climbing first along tree lines next to plantations of arrow straight pines and then up into the Feinbos, the com ascent is also the final climb of the day. Summiting first was therefore a major advantage in the battle for stage honours. On the summit, a 7 km descent provided a thrilling ride to the finish at Asakai Bosch Hotel. Conquering the single track run in allowed Harvey Kriya and Matthew Kayser to claim stage honours by just under three minutes, ahead of Keegan Bontekuning and Alan Gordon. Rogan Smart and Sean Nick Best across the line in third on the stage. Valley Electrical Titan Racing's winning time was 2 hours 22 minutes and 48 seconds, eating into the general classification lead of the Insect Science Pro Team. This means that Bontekuning and Gordon's lead in the general classification is now 8 minutes and 52 seconds. In the mixed category, the continued misfortune of Yolandi and Ben Melt Swanepoel created further opportunities for Nicola Freitas and Grant Daly. Yet, while they were clearly having more fun, the serious racing of Pit Stop Sport won out. Samantha Sanders continued her steady rise back to her full formidable racing fitness with another strong showing. A helping hand on occasion from Conway Oliver simply aided her slightly. 
The pair sped through the stage, claiming their second victory of the race and extending their general classification lead. Team Garmin's absence elevated LastMinuteTraining.com's Mundy and Wesley Augustine to the category podium. Elrika Harms in Pretorius and Lahani Oosthuizen continued their dominant charge through the M&G Investments PE Plat on Stage 2. The Wintergreen Chivita pairing were never truly bothered by their category rivals and again focused on racing the men's and mixed teams around them. Their 3 hour and 12 minutes and 16 second time was good enough for 12th overall, further showcasing that they are in a class apart. With two days left to race, their goal now will surely be to remain as close as possible to the former Cape Epic winner and solo women's race leader, Catherine Williamson. With the racing done for the day, it was time to relax, and there are plenty of ways to do so at the Asagaibos Hotel. The race's official massage zone was a great place to start with the rub down of tired legs before a cooling soak in the hotel pool. Swapping war stories from the trails is a favourite pastime, with jumps, climbs and time gaps to key frenemies all becoming larger with the telling. Then the chill zone beckoned with free beers and wine as well as live music to complete the deep relaxation process. Lounging on the beanbags, the riders' thoughts surely returned to the trails, reflecting on a spectacular day on the bike. Filled with incredible scenery, great mountain biking and stage race camaraderie. The knowledge that another two days still lie ahead was another reason to smile. Tomorrow the route continues north to Mentor's Kraal Country Estate near Jeffreys Bay. The 85 km stage is the longest of the race and could provide the terrain for a general classification shakeup. Tune in on the race's Instagram feed at PE underscore to watch the action unfold.